What's happening? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinated duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does cross ones work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in crossed ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! Alright, uh, so we're dueling. We'll make you regret uh -oh. signing up. <laughs> I forgot where all the buttons were. Okay, we're just going to break through yellow shields with control spells like levitation spell Levioso. Okay, alright, we're just going to wing this. I'm ready. Well, I'm doing repair, I'm doing repair. Oh, that's Lumos. Okay. Don't shy away now. Okay. Let's mess her up. Mess her up. Yeah. <sighs> He's doing Lumos accidentally. We won. What happened to my one? Nice though? work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up, and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. In fact, the second jewel is ready when you are. And as a fully initiated member, you now have access to the official Crossed Ones training dummy. Ooh. Very good way to master spell combinations. Come and see me, and I'll set it up. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Okay, again. Hope to see you back here again. I'm here. Again. Again. Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? I want to do the cross Be ones sure again. Cut all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. All right, let's try with the dummy then. Okay, so. Let me go. Ah! Get it. What's happening? That's not maybe that was something. Yes. Oh, <laughs> I won. <Nicely> done. <laughs> Cast Levioso by four consecutive attacks. Okay. Levioso. Yay! Complete spell combinations without allowing the dummy to hit the ground. Is that it? No, I didn't do it right. Combinations. What does that mean? Ah, oh, I see. I know what I need to do. I'm doing it wrong. I'm doing this wrong. No, we're gonna try it again. So I know how to do this. Yes. <laughs> Say that's enough practice. You looked good out there. 
Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. Can I win? Yay! Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of crossed ones all set? Yes, Hi, crossed ones. ones. Let's go. Lined up. Ready for another round? Yes, I am. I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? Mm, yes. Let's do. Yes, Natty. Then Natty. Let's get to it. You better be good. I need to get thrashed. I'm gonna beat you up, Constance. Apologies in advance. There's three of them. Hey, break through violet shields with four spells like summoning charm, Akio. Ready? Okay, how do I do it? Okay. There goes my way. Oh, we won! Oof. Big hit that round. We did it. Now what? Bravo! I gave it my all. You did indeed. <laughs> The other duelists have already taken notice of you, but after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning, or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. Thank you, Lucan. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hecate. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say, I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Rather not spend today's lesson and keep your with wand your robes steady. aflame. Ooh. Oh, did I do it? I did it. So we just unlocked Incendio. You need to equip it to your spell Good set. Work. Whoa, what do I replace it with? Maybe we don't need Reparo. So we want to get rid of... There we go, we got Incendio. In instead of Reparo. Reparo! Lumos. Okay. I had the wrong one. I think I added Lumos instead of Incendio. Where the hell is Incendio? Oh. <laughs> I added Lumos twice, thinking it was Incendio. <laughs> oh, I thought this was Incendio, not the one that has a fire symbol. No, 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 this is Incendio. <laughs> not this one, guys. <sighs> That's ridiculous. Yeah, I don't want it. I don't even want Lumos. I've accidentally assigned Incendio twice. Okay, we're just gonna have to deal with this. Incendio! Whoa! Uh, I'm using it too much, I see. Might some kind soul help me? No, I don't want to help you. I'm busy. I think that's a glitch. So, shall we proceed? Is this a glitch? It has to be a glitch. It's been there for a little while now, so let's try and fix that by restarting this game. Sebastian, there you are. I was hoping to see you. I was in the three broomsticks after the troll attack and saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow. 
Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? Uh, I'm not entirely certain. I've never even met him. Perhaps he mistook me for another student. If you say so. I won't press you now, but you will have to tell me what's going on at some point. You might need me. So, why were you looking for me? I need to find something for Professor Fig, but it's in the restricted section of the library. <laughs> he can't get it himself? He was called away by Black at the last moment. I suppose I could wait to get a note from him, but... You want to show some initiative. Precisely. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight and tell no one. See you tonight. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. A little, little rendezvous with a Slytherin. That should have been a Slytherin. Alright, let's meet him. Revelio. Wee. So I didn't realize, but this is before Harry Potter. <laughs> Silly me. See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I can just get stitches. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean, I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. Well, okay, we're, we're learning, we're learning, we're learning, we're learning. Oh, we're not learning because I can't get this straight. Ah! Well, I'm not very good. Okay, there we go. Just moaning like moaning myrtle the whole time. Alright, where is Sebastian? Use disillusionment to avoid being detected in off limit areas. How do I get down? Okay. That was scary. I thought it was a ghost. How do I sneak into... Ah, oh, okay. I'm in the wrong door. My bad. Usually, but it'll still be all right. Usually, behind me. The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, don't shout, Sebastian. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. Why is he shouting? You distract, I get the key. Understood. Search the key. Here it is. Do we get it? I think I got the key. Good gracious. Okay, I'm here. There we go. This is easy. Revelio. Revelio. A little quiet. Revelio. Basic cast, while undetected to lure authority figures and enemies to a desired location. Ghost, don't let her see you. Oh! Uh oh. I lured her to where I'm going. I see. <laughs> right, my. 
be smart to lure her away from my target location. Oh, another ghost. Another ghost. Another ghost. Oh, she's coming this way. She's coming this way. She's coming this way. Oh, actually, that's perfect. Let's go. Discover the secret of the antechamber. Revelia. Uh, how? What secret? Something needs to happen in here that I'm not understanding. Hey. Oh, there we go. I understood. I understood just fine. Oh. Surprising. Guards at the ready. Ah! Oh, okay, cool. I blew him up. Is there more? Oh, jeez. Oh, your gift of ancient magic accumulates by successfully attacking or taking damage. Okay. When at least one segment of your ancient magic meter is full, you can cast devastating ancient magic attacks. Is that. Did I use it up already? Oh, can I just... Nope, I can't. Oh, jeez. Who's getting me? Oh, oh. What's that? Oh. What is that? Whatever it all was, it looks awesome. So here we go, here we go, we're almost there. Ah! Okay, it needs to be a lot faster than that. We need to move. We need to move very fast. Basically, right now. Oh! Oh, I didn't know. I, got, I forgot I could jump. Oh, what? Another one? This must be the way forward. But to where? I'm sick of these circles. Okay. Nearly there. Oh. Let's keep my wits about me. I just have enough a quick reaction to do this. Oh. oh my goodness. I'm just smashing buttons right now. That was 
How did I thought? Oh, I didn't get those other blue ones. It okay. is a book after all. It's a book. That looks like a very ancient, powerful book. Is that a missing page? It's a pensive. Where are we going? What's going on? Making it rain. That's nice of him. Whoa. Awesome. Wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor McCaw. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad, especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. Hey, the same as me. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganoff, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that she Hogwarts has to offer. She has a villain last name. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. That seems suspicious. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's Velio. Ah, fig. Visit. Out, headmaster. Sir, the freak I was out. able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black.
It was a book we were after. There we go. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section, as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive. Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? In the second, they were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic, too. Why those memories? Hmm. Perhaps this book will explain. I'll have to take it with me to London. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. They must have come this way! Think! Oh, what's happening? I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood, don't give a dog shit nip Ooh. back your time. Victor Rookwood. I speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student, you can't... Let's mess him up. Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Yes. This is what I want. All right, so we're going to... Red coming in. Oh, watch the light go out of your eyes. A Schwinda Dulis. Oh, more. Hey. Do you really think you can we can hold up? I'm not going anywhere with you. You'll take this Schwinda Scout. Let's go. Let's get these. Yes. Can we get all of them? Just happened. I've never been accosted in such a manner. Been so close to Hogwarts. <sighs> that was so Are much fun. Right? <sighs> I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You're a researcher. Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. How extraordinary. Of the legend of King Arthur. The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the Trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. Let's get the Mallow Suite. 
This trunk. Yes, take plenty, even if you all Revelio. I have the mallow sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Whoa! What? Did you see that? The vines disappeared! What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted Develio. I am curious about these pyres. Hmm. Have to Rebellion. sell something. So we have to solve Merlin's trial. Clearly, all three of these pyres are meant to be lit. Yes, I did do that. Let's try it from the end. Instead, so we have to light the pyres. Incendio. And I am trying to light them as fast as I can. Incendio. Incendio. Oh, okay, so we just have to do it before it falls down. Whoa! Melon's beard! I take it we can call that a success. We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow suit, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. Apology class time now. This cannot possibly be as difficult as it seems. I heard rumors that the herbology teacher is very attractive. Uh, a little treat for your auntie. She has nice hair. Class, Very magical. Please welcome the newest rose in our garden. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Accio. <gasps> Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> mandrake. She's putting garlic in her ears. Now, everyone, grip the mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Tug it! <laughs> That's so attractive. What? She probably should have gave, given us instructions before we put the headset on. Was fun. A bit of gardening. Now for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting table. Revelio. Okay, so we're gonna plant dittany seeds on the roses. potting table, which is right here. So we've got dittany seeds done. Done. Once it can be harvested, your dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. So we're going to attend potions class now as well. Okay, let's meet this professor. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As okay, why fifth is years, kind of you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. Definitely going to pay attention to you this class. You will begin class. this term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. 
Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wiganweld potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries. Why is it called Wiganweld? Why can't it be called Healing Potion? Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wiganweld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Hey, we're adding... Ooh. Did we do it right? Stirring. We stirred. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. So we went to herbology class, potions class, we did a duel, a melons trial, and what else did we do? We did jewel the cronies of Rockwood. That's a lot was done today, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. See you next time.